so at this point now before i go to group request accept here i need to make sure that i uh, i disable everything here instead of join i can create the new group but this is the part that actually does something so i just want to cancel that just to see if it will return me to this page so there we go so either we accept or we decline so let me click here and i will be back here let me click here i will be back here okay so so far so good everything is working all we need now is to create a function that actually instead of join group the function should be called uh, accept request yeah even though we are not actually accepting all the time sometimes we are declining let's just call it accept request okay then group id okay so the group id we're actually getting from the correct place but we need to get uh the user id as well in this case you see me doesn't really matter because i am the admin that is accepting this so i'm the one that's actually currently logged in so this is pointless we don't need it so i'll remove that but i'll say user id and then i put two here and then also we want to know the action itself so you can call it action or you can call it type that's up to you okay so if none of these are set they'll be set to no and then we can still send them in here so here group user uh, group id user id and then finally the action like at this yes yes so accept request now all we need to do is create this function so i will copy this here and let's do that rather quickly so the part that says join group mm -hmm. let me come back here so how exactly do we accept here so the first thing we need to do if we go to the group request is to disable this line so that uh, there's no need for for this to show up as a request anymore so we disable it and then there's this uh, group members here so group members contains the user ID of the uh, individual, what group they belong to, and what role they are playing, and like that. So this is the information we need to give our function. So easy peasy here, what we will do is, let's go to um, group classes, yes. Get requests, no. We want to use the join group because it's kinda similar. It has the disabled there, etc etc so we will copy this function here let's duplicate it so we can do as little work as possible because laziness is key when programming okay so accept request group id user id and action so the only thing missing here is the action so let's change the action to that okay so group id we have user id and we have the action so the action is only important down here so at this point we've escaped that and we just want to check if there's actually a record already okay now if there's a record all we need to do is enable it so here we'll ask the question select or from not group requests but uh, let me save this query for a second I will do that mm -hmm. duplicate and uh, mute one of them so group members that's where we are going select all from group members where the user ID is equal to the current user ID and group ID is equal to group ID we don't need to know whether it's disabled or not we just not want to know if a record exists so if it does good 
we've checked and then we go through here exactly the same and then we'll say update group members so update group members set disabled is equal to zero where the id is equal to check id so good that works fine then we've added our user but if the record does not exist we insert into group members okay so insert into group members and what are we looking for the group id the user id and an important thing is the role what role are they playing okay so just make sure that disabled has a default value of zero and it actually does so let's come back here so row is row and let's add it to the very end of that section so row and i will add it Ooh, let me zoom in a little bit here and they say role yes so user id role everything looks good looks good looks good and then save but it's not over yet because once we save there we have to disable from the other side so i will run another query so here there's a save i will duplicate the save and run a different query here and actually i don't need that query anymore the query that is more likely is this one so i will after we save here i will create another query for us to save so query update group requests so update group request set disabled is equal to one so we disable the user from the other side where now this is interesting here because we have to find where the user id is exactly the same and the group id is the same so we kind of have that kind of question here so i will say that right there and copy where thank you very much paste here so we have a where clause where user id is good to user id group id is good group id limit one okay too many limitings let's close that here and that's it this is what we do to accept a user but this is only if we are accepting them but what if we are declining mm -hmm. so we will test that for now let's test the accept feature so refresh very good and thank you for asking i will accept you bam and then what do you see no requests were found so all the requests are gone now okay but if i come back here and refresh you see that now i have a record and if i go to group requests you see that now this user is disabled so this is very very good now we just have to know what happens if we want to decline the user so let's try that scenario for a second these are group requests here so i will edit the group requests oh what have i done what have i done just to make sure i dis i move disabled back to zero and then i go to group members and then i delete from group members that way i have reversed everything yes yes so now let's click decline now decline won't do anything because here we did not specify any of that it will just accept anyway so let's think about it here when we say uh, decline whether we decline the user or not we still need to disable their request because we don't want to keep seeing that request so we decline it so this stays as it is the only thing is uh, we don't need to insert if a uh, wait a minute yes we don't need to insert anything in fact we don't need to update group members at all if we are declining all we need to do is just disable their request that's it actually we don't even need to check if a record exists in group members at all so what will happen here is let's put an if statement and say if action e equal to accept this is the only time we do this up to here 
So I will put an opening bracket there and put a closing one and put an else a statement like so. Make sure the bottom half is outside the else a statement because it has to run either way. And then here on the else, all we need to do is disable this. Actually, we don't need an else statement here. Delete that. Bam. Okay, so if we are accepting, we do this. If we are not, we will simply just disable that. So let's come back here and confirm our code. So decline, no more requests. Yeah. And then if I come to group members, you see, they are no group members because we did decline the only group member we had. And there we go. The user is disabled. So when the user comes back to the group, they are going to see that uh, their request is no more. So you see here, if I click log out and come back as Mary, password, and go to my group here, you see that uh, now it tells me join group because my request was actually declined. Now I can send another request. All right, so hopefully you have seen how this is working and we'll continue in the next video.